What is going on everyone? My name is Toon Mike and today we're going to be playing Smashing 4. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Thank you so much for stopping by watching today's video of Smashing 4. I have to say it. It means a world to me all the support that you guys have been giving me from the, from my beginning of the YouTube cur career. Or if for those who have recently joined watching my videos, just thank you so much. I say it every day but I really do mean every day but I'm just going to keep it short so I don't bother you guys with you know saying every day how much it means the world to me all the support that you've been giving me. Today we're actually gonna be playing in the rare treasure challenge, which is that I pick my opponent's deck and my opponent picks mine. So we're gonna cross our fingers and hopefully we can give them bad cards or cards that will make the, their abilities useless. And um, let's see. I prefer to give him the Drake Link because I don't want him enchanting my troops. Ooh, this is tough. Uh, we're actually gonna give him the Wraith. The vampire will heal up if I gave him that. Let's give him the cultist. I do not want. I do not want my troops uh, getting enchanted. Let's give him the orc because the warlord is just too strong in my opinion. Too strong. And he gave me okay. He gave me a blacksmith, sentinel. Pretty interesting actually. And uh, a priest. Okay. So this should be interesting. Let's actually enchant the sentinel, and we should be able to enchant the blacksmith or the priest as well. There you go. And look at that, the lasers are just going crazy. Okay, so that was a pretty decent start. Thank you, Sentinel. So he's gonna attack my Sentinel. Okay, so the okay, so his ability is not gonna touch mine. Okay, so I'm okay with that. Let's actually uh let's actually hit the sentinel. The my whole my goal my whole goal here is just to go crazy with the sentinel and just deal a massive amount of damage right here. Like look at that. The sentinel is just too good. I also have the cultist to, to remember about, so I gotta remember to use the cultist as well to make them to like to make the cultist just bounce around and go crazy. So okay, so his okay, so my sentinel goes next. It's not the greatest position that I have. I'm just gonna do this here so I can hit the Wraith twice, the Drakeling once, and maybe the Cultist once, yeah? So, okay, okay damage. Okay damage. His Drakeling's turn, as long as he, he doesn't touch the wall, I'm okay. That actually hit my Cultist, so I'm a little pissed off about that, actually. So I'm just gonna hit the cult, his Cultist, and hopefully the Drakeling actually touches my Sentinel. And hopefully my cultist just bounces around and hit walls and stuff. It, it did. Look at that. That was pretty good. So we were actually able to hit the wraith and his cultist with the ability. So that was really good. And as long as we can keep the, the priest back. So he can continuously heal. We are golden. We are golden. Um, unfortunately I cannot do much here. So I'm just going to hit my cultist. So hopefully my cultist can just bounce around. Use the ability, that's actually going to take out his Wraith. So it's just his uh, his Orc against four of my troops. There's no... Yeah, he surrendered. There, yeah, he knows it. There was no way. That was super clutch. Super clutch. Having the Sentinel is so good. You just got to bounce around and... You'll, 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 you'll do some crazy stuff. I'm sorry that I'm looking away like always. I'm just looking at my computer. Let's give him the armadillo, just in case. Hopefully he doesn't have any troops that will enchant mine. Uh, let's give him the robot. I do not want him to have, you know, boosted defense. Let's give him the orc. I do not want him to get... I don't want him to have the sorceress. And we'll get the archer. Archer is a... I'm a little worried about the archer, but, uh... Let's see what that guy have. So I have the banshee and the zombie. Okay, okay. I can definitely work with this. Banshee and zombie, okay. So let's try to enchant his orc with poison. Barely doing that, barely. And we actually uh, boosted the zombie with the, uh, with speed, so that was pretty good. So let's actually enchant the robot and the armadillo, and maybe the archer. No, we were not able to hit to enchant the archer, but. I just realized that my the ro the, his armadillo can actually do mo a lot of damage to me, considering the fact that the banshee can enchant my troops. So, not the greatest, but uh, we should be able to do this. Lots of damage. The orc is about to die. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just looking away and just looking at my computer. So, okay. He might... 
Okay, that wasn't too much damage to the... That was... Okay, well, that was a little bit of... A uh, lot of damage to my, uh... To my zombie, but it should be okay. Let's just hit the robot. Okay, so I actually hit multiple troops right there. Super stoked about that. Please don't take out my zombie. I want to enchant the archer first before the zombie dies. Do not kill the zombie, please. Is that enough? Ah, oh, that was enough to take out the zombie. So I'm sad about that because now the archer is still alive with full health and not poisoned. I would have I would have been so happy if the archer was poisoned. So we need to try to take out his uh his armadillo actually. That was a lot of hits to the robot, so a little bit of a mistake on my part. Cause those bombs are just are just gonna go crazy. Yeah, it's gonna hit the knight twice. And the berserker twice. So the armadillo will die next turn, uh thanks to the poison, so I'm just gonna go for the archer, and he just activated my berserker's ability. So we should be okay by doing this. We also burned uh, burned the archer, so that was pretty good. So it's just the archer, okay. Just the archer, we should be okay. If the berserker stays alive, we will we should be able to do an insane amount of damage. Woo! Insane amount of damage to the archer, and we can by doing this. We were able to hit him twice for the win. Let's go. So there we go, guys. Two wins in the books. Doing doing pretty well. Awesome start. Uh, let's jump into another one. Bada bing, bada boom. So like I said, guys, the, the trick here is to not give him troops that will... Mm, this is actually a tough choice. I'm going to give him the wizard, though. Uh, give him the Kong. So remembering, Kong does his ability when he heals. Let's give him the Puppet Master, and then we'll hit, we'll give him the Phoenix. The Phoenix is not good in my opinion. Plus, the Puppet Master, if you take him out first, he is not going to be able to use the ability at all. So, I, I actually have okay cards. Like, every single one of these cards can do, can do their ability, so I'm okay with that. Like, for example, his Kong cannot use his ability... Because he doesn't have uh, healing potentials to, you know, to up, to heal up the to heal up the Kong, so that's one. The Phoenix ability it only works whenever he dies. The the uh, Puppet Master's ability will work if you kill somebody else first. So if you go for the Puppet Master's first, the Puppet Master cannot do its ability. So. Keeping that in mind, let's let's see if we can try to deal as much damage as we can to the Puppet Master so that he doesn't do his ability. Oh, please touch the corner! Man, that would've been good! And we actually de dealt a lot of damage to the, uh, to the Kong because he was just right there in the uh, Cultist ability, so that was really good. Phoenix's turn. Phoenix does a lot of- a pretty decent amount of damage for what it is. Ooh, okay. So let's actually hit the corner. And the cultist should just bounce around and hopefully his ability will hit somebody. Okay, okay. So we were able to take out the puppet master, so there's no puppets. So look at that, guys. Like, we are sitting pretty right here. Sitting pretty. He might be able to deal a lot of damage here with the wizard. Now, that, now that wasn't a good hit, to be honest with you. That wasn't a good hit. Let's actually hit, uh, deal uh, direct damage to the wizard. Hopefully hitting him twice. Yes, and we actually hit the Phoenix twice, so that was pretty good. If we can keep if we can kill the wizards the, the, the wizard next, the Phoenix cannot use his ability, so just keeping that in mind as well. So let's actually hit the corner here and we should be able to hit the wizard. Hopefully twice. Yes, we were able to hit him twice. The wizard's dead, guys. The wizard is dead, and now he he's he's done so. It's just the Phoenix. There's the Phoenix cannot do anything. Yeah, this guy knows it. Okay, so he's gonna go for the uh, for the cultist. That's fine. Oh, sorry. Uh, like again, guys. Sorry about this. I'm just looking at my computer. Just want to make sure that everything is good on my computer. And there you go, GG. That was another clean, clean win. But like I said, guys, make sure that you give your opponents cards. That makes your ability useless. Like the Kong, the Kong needed heal potentials to, for it to use his ability. I did not give him any heal cards. Um, the Puppet Master, make sure you kill him first and he will not be able to do the, the ability. Just things like that you gotta keep in mind and 
Mine of, sorry. Let's give him the druid. I do not want him to give I don't want him to have the sentinel. This is actually a tough one. We'll give him the vampire. This that was a tough choice. And next we'll give him the genie. And then we'll give him the Phoenix, please. Nope, I didn't I did not get the Phoenix in time. Uh oh, okay. This is actually pretty interesting too. I actually have the Drakeling too, so that's what's up. Um the Drakeling is a little bit hard to use, but if you you just you just gotta make sure that he bounces bounces the wall so many times and you should be golden. Okay. Okie doke. So that's why I wanted to give him the Phoenix and not the uh the Ice Queen. So let's do this. Not the greatest amount of damage I could have done, but but hey, what can you do? So it is the shaman's turn, so we need to take not take care of, but enchant if we can the vampire. The vampire is the one that's dealing the most damage. So let's enchant the vampire. We were able to do that. The vampire's the vampire's dead, guys. The vampire is dead. So we took out his main threat. Now, obviously, he has uh, he has multiple cards that deals direct damage to troops. So we gotta make sure that we take care of those cards super quick. Um, unfortunately, I actually cannot do much here, sadly. Maybe we can t hit the blacksmith, and the blacksmith mm. will be able to hit... Yeah, it, it did hit the druid, so... Okay, but... The Ice Queen's turn, the, the Ice Queen is gonna deal... What, is it 20? I think it's 26 damage to everybody. 20... Uh... It's actually 42 damage, but since they're enchanted, uh, resisted some some uh, some attacks or some damage. Yeah, sorry. Um, so let's do this. We should be able to hit the genie and maybe the ice queen. Nah, I should have I, I should have went for the ice queen, hitting the ice queen multiple times. So this is genie's turn. He's he's gonna he's, he's, I think he's actually gonna kill my uh my sentinel right here. Nope, the Sentinel is still alive. So let's actually hit the Sentinel. We should be able to hit the Sentinel multiple times. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay damage. The Ice Queen actually got enchanted with uh, less attack. So, okay, okay, so that... Okay, so he is gonna kill my my Drakeling right there, sadly. Um, So sad. We might not win this one. Uh, we have to take care of her Ice Queen, or else we're just gonna take receive an insane amount of damage thanks to her ability. So let's do this. The Ice Queen did not receive damage. I do not know how that happened. Or, it did receive damage, just not the damage that I was expecting for her to receive. So, yeah, that's... Wow, the Ice Queen can actually not do damage. Base damage. Oof, okay, 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 this is not good. So, let's hit the genie over here. We should be able to hit the druid as well. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that's that's GG. There's no way we're gonna win. The, the genie is doing 20% max health damage to every single troop, so... Wow. Okay, so the... Oh, okay, so yeah, I forgot about his ability. Yeah, his ability can still deal damage. Yeah, that's... That, this is GG. There's no way we're gonna win this one. Hey, this is fine. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We were able to take out his his druid, which is good, but it wasn't it wasn't enough time. So we unfortunately lost. Mm. Oh, sorry about the notification. Sorry about the notification. I'll get rid of that. And GG. That's hey. That that's that's not too bad. We want. We won three in a row, and then we just lost one. Uh, if I would have given her the Phoenix quickly, that the game would have probably ended differently. I'm saying that right now. The game would have probably ended differently. I would have probably won. Let's give him... Let's give him the Frog Prince. I do not want him to have the Rocketeer. Let's give him... I do not want him to have a lot of healing potential, so I'm just going to give him the Genie, which sucks. Give him the Druid. I do not want him to have the Sentinel. And... Let's give him the armadillo. So the armadillo... 
Yeah, the armadillo cannot use its ability, so that's pretty good. Um, so this is Genie's turn. The Genie will deal 20% damage. It sucks, but I had to do it. I had to do it. It was either the Genie or... I totally forgot what was the other card. <laughs> uh, but it was gonna be a lot of damage. I didn't want that. I honestly did not want that. Um, let's bounce off the wall over here. We should be able to hit the armadillo. Should. Should. Keyword should. Bada beam, bada boom. We also hit the, uh, the genie with the fireball, so that was pretty on point. My aim was perfect there. I didn't... It, that, was, that wasn't even my intention. <laughs> um, so let's... Okay, so... We're receiving a little bit of damage thanks to his druid, but we're also dealing damage thanks to mine. So... Uh, let's see. Let's hit the frog... the frog mystic. Only hit him once, that's so sad. And let's deal damage to... Again, the Frog Mystic, plus healing up everybody for 30 health. The Priest, in my opinion, is better than the Frog Mystic. The Priest uh, heals uh, 30 to everybody, no matter where they are. And the Frog Mystic, you just have to touch those stingy majiggies so you can heal yourself up. So, in my opinion, it's best to, to, to go direct instead of... Instead of, um... Touching the thingies to heal up. Let's actually hit the Druid. Hopefully we can hit him twice. We were able to hit him twice, so let's heal up as well. And again, dealing 50 damage to that Frog Mystic. So... Okay, so he is gonna go for the Druid. That was a lot of damage to the Druid, I'm sad about that. So let's go for... Hmm, we cannot do much. So let's go for the Genie, hopefully we can hit him twice. We were also able to hit the Frog. Healing everybody up for 30, and the, and the Druid hit the uh, Armadillo for 50, so... Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. So... He might actually kill off the, the druid right here, I do not want him dead yet. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. Super sad about that. Oh wait, no, the druid is actually still alive. They hold, hold on. So let's actually touch the wall over here so we can hit the frog, and then we should be able to hit the genie. There you go, there you go, the genie's dead. The genie is dead, so let's heal up everybody for 30, that's good. Keeping the druid barely alive. 35, yeah, so the Druid only had 5 health. That's crazy. So... Oh, uh, he's gonna go for the Druid, man. He's gonna go for the Druid. I mean, that's... that's okay. So now we gotta go for... We should probably go for the, his Druid, because his Druid is just dealing constant damage to me. But let's actually do this. Let's actually use the Drakeling to hit the Armadillo. And hopefully the Skeleton can hit... Yeah, the Skeleton did hit the uh, the Druid. So that was okay. Plus, as long as we can keep the Priest alive, we can heal up every single turn. You can kill the Skeleton if you want to. I don't mind him, I don't mind if he dies right now. Um, okay. So let's go for the, the Druid. We gotta go for him, man. Yes, let's hopefully hit him twice right here. Yes, and hopefully they're in the poison. No, the armadillo was not in the poison. Sadly, so the druid is gonna heal up. Nope. Okay, so the druid is gonna hit my priest, killing him, sadly. So now we gotta try to take advantage with the drakeling, man. We have to try to deal as much damage as we can to the drakeling. Or with the drakeling, sorry, not to. Uh, so let's do this. Let's hit the armadillo like this. Hopefully when the Drakeling bounces off the wall, it'll hit the fireball towards... Yeah, towards the Druid, which it did, plus we got an additional hit on the Frog Mystic. So, okay, not too bad. Uh, okay. Okay, so we gotta take care of that Druid, man. The Druid is just dealing direct damage to us. Not good, not good at all. Unfortunately, I don't have a direct attack to him, so hopefully this will hit the druid. It was, plus we also hit him twice. Okay, so we got rid of him. That's good. So, right now he has one healing potential. He is gonna heal. Yeah, he is definitely gonna heal. Hope maybe twice, too, and that's not... Oh my gosh, he just killed off my... He just won. No, never mind. The skeleton is still alive. I mean, he still won. There's no way we're gonna win this one. Sadly. 
we can try, but highly that oh, yeah, and I missed the second hit. So frog six turn. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna win this one. Oh well, what can you do, man? You cannot win every single game. Whoa! Never mind. The poison got me. Hey man, what can you do? I usually don't do well in these challenges, but hey, I did win three in a row. Pretty good. Hopefully we don't lose this one. I want to get at least four wins, because you know four wins is is good. Um let's give him the giant. I do not want him to have the banshee. Let's give him the robot. Do not want him the cultist just going around doing crazy stuff. Let's give him the puppet master. We gotta make sure to kill him first. And let's give him the sentinel. I do not want him to get enchantment. He gave me the Warlord. Okay, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay. Um, so let's actually just deal damage to the Giant and maybe even the Sentinel right here. Yep, yep, there you go. So not too bad, not too bad. Plus we dealt damage over there to the to the Puppet Master and the Robot thanks to the Golem. So, okie doke, okie doke. So, okay, so he pretty much did the same thing as me. So okay, so the uh, the warlord got enchanted, which is obviously not not what you want to see. So instead, we're just gonna hit the sentinel towards the giant, and the, the beams should just go crazy. Yeah, not bad. That was that was okay okay damage, and we're getting boosted speed too. So it it's gonna it should work out in my favor can, if we can keep this up. Um, okay, so the sentinel received the buff, which it's a waste. You know, obviously, it's a waste of time right there. So let's actually hit the Sentinel. Ooh, snap, crackle, and pop. That was super good. Super good, man. The boost of speed is seriously helping out my Sentinel just go just go crazy. Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. So who receives the buff? The Sentinel keeps re receiving the buff. That's not good at all, dude. Not good at all. Um, unfortunately, I cannot hit the Sentinel. And we still dealt a decent amount of damage right there. So, everybody's enchanted with speed, so that's really good. So, the Sentinel... Ooh, okay, so his Sentinel did a decent amount of damage. The Warlord is barely alive, but still alive. I hate that the Sentinel is actually the one receiving the buffs, man. That's not good, obviously. Not good at all. So his sentinel actually goes next. So let's see if we can try to, to just take care of the robot here. No, we were only able to hit him once. That was a waste of a waste of a laser beam right there. So his sentinel goes next. So he's he's yeah, he's gonna take out the He actually did not take out the warlord, okay. So the warlord enchanted or buffed himself up, okay. Let's actually hit the sentinel towards the robot and the beams should just go crazy flying everywhere yep 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 so unfortunately we did, we did not kill the puppet master first so he just received the puppet so hopefully that doesn't kill my golem he, he is gonna kill the sentinel however he just killed the warlord too man not the greatest of plays not the greatest play Let's let's take out the goal, the giant, and we should be able to take out his uh, sentinel as well. We missed the sentinel by an inch, dude. By an inch. So it is the sentinel's turn. He's probably gonna go for the banshee. Yep, he's gonna go for the banshee. Okay, so he was only able to hit me just a few times. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? That is a question. Actually, yeah, let's hit the Sentinel like this. We should be able to hit the Puppet Master. We failed to hit the Puppet Master. Instead, we did take out the, uh, his Sentinel. So it's the Puppet Master's turn. He, he has one chance to take, to, to beat me right here. Bruh. Bruh, that's, that was super close. Super close. Okay. So he has 93 health. I need to hit him twice. I need to hit him twice for the win. Please hit him twice. 
Okay, I thought I missed that, but we were able to hit him twice for the win. Oh my gosh, I was I was gonna be so pissed if I missed that asset. But there you go, guys. We barely won that one. That was that was a uh, that was super close. That was super. That was clutch. Barely winning that one. Let's quickly hop into another one. So let's see. Let's give him. Let's give him the armadillo. Let's give him the frog mystic. Let's give him the druid. And let's give him the bomber. The knight, in my opinion, is actually too stronger than the bomber. That the the damage is pretty good. The health is a is a beast. So I think the bomber it was a good play on my part. I'm pretty sure it was. So he just dealt twice to my uh, to the drakeling. Plus burning it, of course. Let's actually hit the Rocketeer like this. We sh we have a bomber of our own, which is pretty cool. Look at that. We dealt a lot of damage to the uh, to the Druid. So if we take him out, we're not going to receive any direct damage every turn. So that's pretty good. So it is my Drakeling's turn. So hopefully the Drakeling does stay there so that we can um, cause some shenanigans over here. So he did, but... uh. Not what I wanted to do, but I'll, I'll do this. We'll hit the fireball, torch the druid, hopefully it doesn't miss, and we should be able to hit the frog mystic. Yep, so look at the fireballs just going everywhere. That was okay, that was okay, plus we also hit the other druid with the rocketeer, so... Pretty good. Um, so he's gonna go for the rocketeer. That's actually death! He actually just killed off my rocketeer. So sad, dude, so sad. Let's actually hit the bomber towards the druid, and the druid should hit the the drakeling. The fireball going everywhere. The bomber actually died. Okay, so the bomber did die. So, unfortunately, my drakeling is near the bomb, so not the greatest, of course. Um, So, the drakeling will receive a whole lot of damage right here. Plus, he is actually going to heal up his frog. If he wants to make the play. He did. Okay, he almost took out my... Oh, the Jetty actually was close enough to the bomb too, dude. What? Lucky, dude. Lucky. So let's actually hit the Armadillo like this. Hopefully we can hit the Druid. And if we can hit the Druid with the Jetty, which the Jetty should just bounce off and go crazy. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, okay, so that was pretty good. The Drakeling did a decent amount of damage thanks to the Fireball that he just... Just spit out. So, okay. So, this is actually... We're getting into dangerous territory here. Pretty dangerous. How much health does the Druid have? 56. And the Armadillo has... How much? F literally 4. So. Uh... Let's take out the Frog Mystic first, actually. So, let's do this. Oh, the fireball did not reach. Okay, so that probably did cost him. That probably cost me the game. Probably. I am barely hanging on, dude. Barely. Um. Okay. So now we definitely. Oh, it's not gonna be enough damage. Yeah, I, I made a mistake. I should have probably went for the. Um. I should have went for the uh, the druid. Hopefully we can take him out right here. We were able to do so. Okay. We were able to do that. So, since the troops are separated, I just need him to miss the bomber. Miss the bomber. He, he hit the bomber. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, man, what can you do? Uh, it was tough. It was tough. It was tough. So four wins, not, not obviously not the greatest, but I usually don't do do that well in the challenge, in in these types of challenges. Look at that, we got some zombies finally, and some giants. Okay, so now I I'm looking for for zombies. I'm trying to max out my zombies, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, that was it for the treasure the, the rare treasure challenge. Uh, obviously not the greatest four wins, but like I like I said, when it comes to draft challenges, I am not the greatest. Uh. Not the greatest in it, but four wins. I'll take the four wins. 
for 14 rares for free. So, hey, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. But, um, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like, uh, the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more Smashing 4 videos. Uh, let me know down in the comments below how far do you get in, the, uh, in this challenge. I only got to four wins. Not the greatest, but hey, it, it, it happens. What can you do? It just happens. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.